Um, Maria, you good? You look like you're pondering about something. I'm fine. I'm just worried, that's all. Huh, worried? About what? About Cadence. I haven't seen her in a couple of days, which is odd because I normally see her almost every day. Well, I did hear that Valerie was tormenting her the other day. Hell, I heard rumors that she was trying to force Aliana to do the same thing, but luckily she didn't. Valerie you say? Yes, Valerie, aka, Walmart Gonzalez. That stupid skank. She better not have hurt Cadence, cause if she did, then she'll get what's coming for her. We'll deal with her later, but first, we need to find Cadence, and possibly even Aliana. I really hope that Valerie bitch doesn't hurt Oliana too. Sure, she may have been annoying in the past, but come on. She's only 16 years old. We gotta do what we can to protect Oliana, at all costs. But, we gotta find her first, so that we can speak with her. No need. I'm right behind you. Oliana, you, you look different. Yeah, I know. Ever since the incident with Valerie, I decided to change my ways for good, and that also included my looks. So, this means that you won't cause trouble anymore? Nope. After seeing what Valerie said to Cadence, it made me feel really bad, especially when she started crying. I already cut ties with Valerie because of it, and I was not happy about what she did, to say the least. Cadence did not deserve the treatment she got that day. Wait, I am curious about something. How come you were a troublemaker to begin with? It's okay if you'd rather not say? Well, it's a few reasons why, but I'll go ahead and tell you girls the main reason. Just like Cadence, I also happen to have autism. I also have ADHD, and even bipolar disorder. Because of me being bipolar, I happen to have constant mood swings, and another thing. Valerie and Xavier would bully me about it every single day. Sometimes, Amir would bully me over it too. Not only that, but they constantly beat me up every day. What? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's quite alright. But I'm not too worried about myself right now. I am more worried about Cadence. I think we should go and talk to her. I 100% agree with you, Aliana. Alright, enough chit chat. Let's go and find her. Can't go one day without Valerie tormenting me. It's almost like she hates me more than anyone else. Of course, she ain't the first one to bully me over my autism, but she's definitely been the worst about it. She's starting to become worse than Amir. You're not alone. When I heard the hurtful things Valerie said to you, I felt really bad. Even though I may have done some mischievous things before, none of it compares to what Valerie has done. I did hear rumors that you stuck up for me against Valerie. And I also heard that you're trying to change your ways and become a better person. Is this really true? It is. And we can confirm. Oliana told us everything. This might shock you, but Oliana also happens to have autism, just like you. What? You're kidding, right? I wish, but nope. It's true. We also found out that she has ADHD, and she also happens to have bipolar disorder. So that explains why she has constant mood swings. Just know that you're not alone, Cadence. Also, don't let Valerie get under your skin, alright? She's just trying to make herself look better than everyone else. Well she's not trying hard enough, clearly. Everyone knows that she's not better especially after seeing how she treated Leah and Simon. At this point Cadence, just ignore her. She's gonna keep trying and trying to get under your skin, but as long as you prove that you are not bothered by her, she will stop. Oh don't worry girls, I am no longer upset about what she said, as it is not relevant. 
Best thing we can all do is move on. Now that's what I like to hear. That's the energy that we're looking for. Oh my god, this is too funny. The green tree fanatic needs her comfort and can't handle things on her own. You know Valerie, you're a real jerk. You have no remorse for your actions, and you don't give a damn about nobody, except yourself. Don't come in where you don't belong, exhibit. This is between me and Cadence. So, zip it. Hey Valerie, do us all a favor, and shut your fucking mouth, you flat ass skank. Honestly Valerie, you're just wasting your time. She's not affected by your words anymore, so you might as well just leave. Me? Wasting my time? Ha, huh, I never waste time. You do, and you're wasting our time right now, as well as your own. Oh that's real funny Aliana, seeing as you know. You cut ties with me and all. But it's fine, because I don't associate with sped girls like you and Cadence anyways. If anything, I should have cut ties with you a long time ago, since you're just too damn annoying and bitchy. Hell, you might as well go jump off the Eiffel Tower, you whore. Alright nigga, you ain't gonna keep dissing my friends like that. Get your stupid ass out of here, cause I'm this close to blowing a damn fuse. Oh, and by the way, before you go kid start spamming in the comment section saying Cadence is racist, just know that she has the n-word pass from Bonnie. That's all I gotta say. Wait a second, how on earth did you do that with your voice? It's called AI you asshole. Now fuck off. Why don't you make me, you- I said fuck off! I ain't fucking playing! Move it, or I knock your teeth out! Wow. I did not know you could do that with your voice. I always thought the Kimberly voice couldn't do that. All it takes is some AI. If you know how to use it, you can make the voices sound better. Oh, I see. Oh, and another thing, I'd like to apologize for how I may have treated you before. Oh, that's quite alright. You never really bothered me that much to be honest. But I am still kinda stunned to find out you're autistic just like me. Also. Thank you for sticking up for me against Valerie the other day. I really appreciate that. Hey, it's no problem. I was gonna tell you the same thing. Well, I gotta do what I gotta do to stick up for a friend. 